What is up everybody, Akame here. Hope you're all doing all right. And here today we're gonna to be talking about how to deal with opponents that like to play the patient game. Now, I already have the Mask Man slash Obito in his guard state. Now, as you can see, this is a good example of what people will do. They'll guard from you. Now, say for example, I dash. Their immediate response is, okay, now I'm attacking you because you came to me. Now, typical players will obviously be saying stuff like, okay, well, just wait for him to come to me so that I can get the upper hand. No, because what's going to happen there is going to become a 50-50 chance battle. And what I mean by that is, you don't want to do what they're doing. There are scenarios where you can do that for psychological reasons of the game, knowing that this game is all about um, pretty much brain power and what you know. But overall, if you're playing the patient game, common people will say, okay, I'm going to play the patient game with him too so that he can come to me. But no, again, that's a 50-50 battle. You want 100%. So, pretty much what I'm going to be showing you guys is two different variations on how to deal with opponents who like to play the patient game. Um, so, the first thing now it's going to go on here is how to actually rebound off their guard using a jutsu. Now, to do rebounds off a jutsu, it takes a little practice at first, but in practice mode that we're in right now, unfortunately I didn't have any uh, pro players to actually play around and show this with you guys to show an overall review on how to actually do it but overall this is a mechanic in the game that is one of those things you can't really avoid because it's right up close to your face so what you're going to do is when i chakra dash his guard here as you can see i immediately rebounded back to where i started practically so what's going to happen there is once i rebound off the guard i'm doing a jutsu now this requires certain timing, so I'm going to show you guys a brief example as to what it would look like, and this is what it would be. Now as you can see, that people isn't something that you just do naturally. This is a frame tactic. So what you do is, the instant you dash this opponent's guard, you're going to quickly go over here and then do a jutsu. Now this is done at a specific time. It can't just be done randomly and just be like, okay, this is something very abusive. Well, people, no, that's not the case. You're gonna dash the opponent's guard and then just do whatever you want. So it's almost as if you're doing some kind of framework, which in this case it is. Now with the other variation of what you can do is, you want a character that could continue his combos aggressively. So, let's go to the last Naruto. The last Naruto, as we know, is a character that we all know, especially in the top 10 video, that you guys may have seen. If you guys haven't, I'll put a link in the description. And this is one of the most annoying characters to deal with once it comes to guard break tactics. Now. This, personally, this tactic I'm going to be showing you here is practically every patient player's weakness. Unless you want to counter, however, that's also an easy thing to predict. So, with the last Naruto, we're going to be showing you on how to do a full guard break combo using what I just showed you, but into an additional factor of what we're going to be doing here. So, I'm going to go with his up combo for those who did not see the top 10. His up combo is one of those combos that could practically almost immediately break the guard after doing a jutsu. So at that point, you're actually going to switch and then presume with another combo. And this is what it would look like. See? Full guard break there. Which means that you people can actually almost do whatever you want afterwards. Alrighty y'all, so as we know with the last Naruto, he's also a character known for his jutsus. Now, the team setup that I have here is practically my dominant team, just to let everybody know. But overall, this is a tactic that you use in the competitive field. Or if you just want to piss somebody off who thinks that they're good by just sitting around and wait or whatever. But in reality, this is what they're, what they're going to deal with. Pretty much, that's one way to get rid of a patient player's guard. 
And the other way that I showed you is also an effective way to get uh, patient players out of their comfort zone. But overall, these are things you want to do in rank and also in competitive fields such as first to fives, clan battles, etc. Now personally, I don't show all these additional things because it's very abusive. But I'm willing to show it to everybody here to improve their overall fundamentals of the game. So anyways guys, this is Akame here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. Also, if you guys, I think I already repeated myself by saying this, but... For those who did not see the top 10 video that was posted 6 days ago coming into the week, please check it out. It's really, really important. It may be an hour video, but you don't have to watch it all. Just look at some variations of the video itself, because me and a professional player of the top tier level put a lot of effort into trying to do this for everybody here who plays Naruto for their own benefit. So please do check it out, the link will be in the descriptions, and see you guys later. Bye. Do not mock the Uchiha, my eyes can see now. i found the true path I need to follow. I want to make my own judgments, then I'll decide what needs to be done. Using an Imperial Arms is very strenuous. It must be unbearable when you're so weak. I can end your suffering. If we can bring happiness to people by overthrowing the leadership, I know our comrades would understand.